Hello viewers and welcome to the lesson. Let us solve this question on three-dimensional geometry. Let me read through the question. The figure below represents cuboid ABCD EFGH with AB is equal to 7 centimeters, BC is equal to 24 centimeters, and CF is equal to 7.2 centimeters. M and N are the midpoints of EF and DC respectively. So the diagram is here. Um, the measurements are indicated. The first question, calculate two decimal places. There, that is A, the angle AF makes with the plane ABCD. But B, the angle between lines HF and AB. Then C, angle between the planes GHEF and ABFE. And the last one, angle between BM and the plane ABCD. So let us go to the first part. And uh, looking at the measurements given, and also points N and M, let's work out the first question. Calculate two decimal places. Uh, the angle AF makes with AF makes with plane ABCD. Angle AF. So the first thing we're going to do is to draw line AF. So let me draw. So that is the line AF. That is the first thing you're going to do. Uh, and you want to get the angle that that line AF makes with the plane ABCD. And how do you get the angle between a line and a plane? The angle between a line and a plane is obtained by giving the angle between that line and its projection on that given plane. So what we need to do is to get the projection of line AF on the plane ABCD. The projection is the shadow. What is the shadow of that line AF on the bottom plane? And you realize that the projection of the shadow will be AC. So there is the line AC. And um, there's something that you note now that you have a right angle triangle ACF. You have a right angle triangle ACF. And that is what you're going to use uh, to work out. So the angle that is now required is this angle, angle FAC. Angle FAC. And that is the angle that is between line AF and plane ABCD. That is the angle between the line and the plane. And this is the angle. So we're required to give this angle. Now to give that angle, we already have, when you look at that triangle ACF, we have uh, FC only. So we need to get at least uh, another side in order to use uh, uh, Pythagoras, this uh, trigonometric ratios. We are going to use uh, trigonometric ratios here. In this triangle, it is good to know that it is a right angle at that point. It is a right angle at point C. So we need to get AC. Uh, so how do we get AC? So AC, when you look at um, triangle ABC, uh, that triangle is right angled at this point. And therefore, you notice that AC will be the hypotenuse. And uh, to get that, we just need to take uh, 7 squared plus 24 squared. Then you get the square root. And um, this will give... Um, 25 centimeters so this one is 25 centimeters now having now the uh, ac 25 centimeters and fc 7.2 we should be in a position to get the angle now between af and abcd which is uh therefore angle f ac angle f ac will therefore be given by that angle will be given by. So looking at this, I'm going to use a tangent. So tan of that angle is equals to opposite side, which is 7.2, uh, over adjacent, which is 25. So theta will therefore be given by the tan inverse of 7.2 divided by 25. Uh, working out this one using a calculator. 
it's supposed to give the answer to two decimal places you get 16.07 16.07 centimeters and that is uh, the first part that is the angle between the line AF and the plane ABCD let's go to the second part but B the angle between lines HF and AB this is the angle between two lines HF and AB so let's see HF so we can draw HF we can draw HF now uh, HF is there my line is not very straight so HF is there and then um, AB uh, AB is here so AB is the bottom so what you need to do I need to get this on very clearly uh, look at those two lines those are skew lines lines hf and ab are what we call the skew lines lines that do not meet so what do we need to do we need to translate one line so that you can get that angle and the line you're going to translate is ab ab translated to plane hgef will be hg so we translate ab to hg the same it is the same line and therefore uh, that line translated we will have now the angle between hf and ab translated will be hg so i need to indicate this that we translate ab to get uh, hg and now the angle that you're going to get will be the angle between those two lines will be angle f h g so angle f h g that is after translating that line a b which is equal to h g so this is the angle that you need to get now looking at that and uh, knowing that this is a right angle so when you look at this triangle h g f is a right angle that g uh, we already have this one is 7 and this one is um, 24 so we still going to use a tangent so tan of that angle theta uh, so tan of um, angle theta will be given by opposite and opposite is um, 24 look at that triangle very well triangle HGF opposite is 24 and then uh, adjacent adjacent is 7 therefore uh, theta will be given by the tan inverse of uh, 24 divided by 7 and when you work out this using a calculator this will give uh, 73.74 degrees so that is how we get the angle between those two lines and that is very important to note how we work out when we have these Q lines by simply translating one line. We could also translate HF and HF translated on the bottom plane, plane ABCD will be BAC. Okay. So you can also translate that and it still give us the answer. Now after doing that we can proceed angle between planes ghef 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 uh, look at that plane very well ghef ghef so I have to clear this one uh, so that i can at least um, draw it again uh, let me identify ghef identify that plane g h uh, g h e f that is the the top plane and then uh, a b f e a b f e a b f e is this uh me draw that a b f e a b f e a b f e So you can see that plane A B F E, and uh, the top plane. So which angle is that? Uh, look at that keenly. 
So the angle between uh, the plane GHFE and uh, the one that I've drawn, that is uh, ABFE, you realize that the angle is this, that is the angle between those two planes. That is the angle between the two planes. And um, knowing that this one is right angle, and this one is 7.2, and this one is 24, this one will be very easy to identify. Uh, so that angle, again, you're going to use, um, we shall use, um, is, and I look at it, of course, we shall use a tangent. Tangent will work. So tan of theta. Uh, so tan theta will be given by adjacent which is 7.2 adjacent which is 7.2 7.2 over not uh, opposite that is opposite not adjacent so tan of theta is equals to opposite which is 7.2 7.2 as i've written there then uh, divided by adjacent which is 24. so therefore Theta will be the turn inverse of 7.2 divided by 24. And this um, will give, uh, this will give when you work it out using a calculator, you will get a 16.7, 16.70 degrees. So that is how you get the angle between those two planes. Identify first, you need to draw that plane, A, B, F, E and the top plane ghfe so you notice the angle between the two is that angle that i've indicated there now after doing that now we can proceed to the last one the angle between bm and plane abcd bm and plane abcd bm so bm need to identify bm so i have to clear this uh, so that we can avoid confusion so let me draw BM. So BM. So BM is there. And then uh, we need to get that. That is the angle between a line and a plane. So um, to get that, the angle between a line and a plane is given by the angle between that line and its projection on the plane. So we need to ask ourselves, what is the projection of BM? On the plane a b c d and the projection will be b n the projection will be b n so the angle between that line b m and the plane um, the bottom plane that is a, a b c d will be the angle will be this angle here be this angle here between that line and each projection so you can see that we have a right angle triangle if we complete this one at this point we shall end up with um right angle triangle at that point so look at look at this keenly a triangle b and m b and m uh this is a 7.2 of course so what else do we have so we need to calculate bn bn we need to calculate bn so how do we get bn uh, bn uh, bn uh, when you look at this uh, triangle b and c this is a cuboid and it is right angled at this point it is right angled at that point so the side that is opposite that is uh, that right angle which is a bn is the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is the longest side that is uh, the opposite the right angle so the cuboid the base or the angles are 90 so this triangle b c n is right angled at c so looking at that triangle and uh, if n is the midpoint and uh, we know uh, a b is uh, the same as dc so this one should be 3.5 and this one should be 3.5 so therefore bn being the hypotenuse will be obtained by 24 squared plus 3.5 squared 
and this will give uh, when you work out these using a calculator you work out these 24 is it uh, yeah it should be addition so this one should give so 24 squared plus 3.5 squared so the square root of 588 root of 588.25 to give 24.25 24.25 so that will be 24.25 and uh, this is the side 24.25 now looking at uh, triangle b and m now we have two sides you can use uh, trigonometric ratios and we can use a uh, tangent so tan of theta therefore tan of theta of theta will be given by opposite side which is 7.2 divided by the adjacent which you've just obtained as 24.25 24.25 24.25 and therefore our theta will be given by the turn inverse of 7.2 divided by 24.25 and this will give this one will give um, 16.54 0.54 degrees and that is uh, simply how you're supposed to solve that question on three-dimensional geometry thank you